This recording is called Live from Leningrad, 1960, recorded at the height of the Cold War behind the Iron Curtain. All the works on this album are from my recital at the ballroom of the Tsar in Leningrad. It was a very, very intense time. After the U2 incident, Byron Janus was in Russia. The State Department had requested that he go, an indication of how nervous the world was at that point with the U2 making things even worse. And I guess uh, they thought this is the man to perhaps heal some wounds with the, uh, the well-known thought music is an international language. The State Department called him the first cultural ambassador. A few days before Leningrad, I had played in Moscow. I could feel the political tension everywhere. Very few American pianists that time had the ability or the musicality or the technique to play these very monumental, difficult works. Byron could play these pieces. A lot of people in the audience in Russia would boo him as he entered for daring to appear playing this music. By the time he was finished, those same people gave him a standing ovation. It it was apparent that I was having a lot of success. Mullen Thompson, our ambassador to Russia at that time, came back and saw me and he said, thank God you've had this success. He said, because the Russians have said to me that uh, you have no culture in the United States. All you can do is produce cars. At the end, it was really quite extraordinary how these people, how music, took care of all the hostility, which turned into human tears almost. They were coming to the stage and crying. He was Horowitz's first pupil. There's no question that Byron was and remains one of America's greatest pianists. I did not realize the Leningrad recital had been recorded until 2011. My sound engineer, Seth Winner, said, you are not going to believe what I just received. It was a Russian vinyl pressing of the Leningrad recital. As this was recorded without my knowledge, at first I was very upset. After hearing it, I was happy they had preserved it. I decided to have it remastered and released. The beautiful artwork for the cover is a painting by my wife, Maria. When I first heard the stories of this recital and then heard the music, I found a piece of artwork that I had painted of an abstract piano, and I felt that that captured the turbulence, the drama, the intensity of that whole period of time. I wanted to play an important American piece for the Russian public. I chose a sonata by my good friend, Harry Copeland, who told me it was written about a similar time of political tension and fear prior to World War II. The final movement resonates but yet again, I hope for peace, with the sound of bells ringing throughout. <laughs> 